Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an Apache Tomcat server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Apache server with all of its prerequisites. So from this product page, simply click on get it now. After that, simply click on continue. After that, you would be brought to this product description page from where you need to click on create. And then you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have and then choose a resource group by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. And once that is done, simply give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call this one as Apache. After that, choose the zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once that is done, scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and then choose the size of the virtual machine according to your requirements. Once that is done, simply provide the credentials for the administrator account for Windows Server 2019. Remember that this is the account that we would be using to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. So after providing in the credentials, simply click on review plus create. After that, it is going to run a validation process. So wait for the validation process to complete. Now, once the validation process is done, now what you want to do is that you want to click on create right over here to actually create this virtual machine. So you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for this, simply click on go to resource. And then from this overview page, simply click on connect and then choose RDP. After that, simply click on download the RDP file and once that file is downloaded, simply click on it to establish an RDP connection. So it is going to ask you that you're trying to connect to a remote connection. So simply choose connect and then simply provide the credentials. Now to provide the credentials, you need to click on more choices and then click on use a different account. And then you're going to provide in the credentials that you have created while creating this virtual machine. Now once that is done, simply click OK and then it is going to prompt you once more that you're trying to connect to a remote host. So simply click on yes and then wait for the connection to be fully established. And once the connection has been established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server 2019 to completely load. Now once the Windows Server has completely loaded, the next step is to actually access the Apache Tomcat server. Now the Apache Tomcat server is hosted on localhost and the port number is 8080. Now to access the Apache server, simply click on this desktop icon that says Tomcat. Now as you can see that the Apache Tomcat server is running on the port number 8080. However, if I try to access something like the server status, the manager app or the host manager, it is asking me for my credentials. At this time, I do not know the credentials to the Tomcat user. So for this, we need to create a Tomcat user. Now to create this user, the very first step is to stop the service of Apache. Now to do this, simply exit from this Internet Explorer page and then hit Windows and type in services. And then you're going to open up this services administrative tool. Now in here, you can see this Apache Tomcat and the version 9 that it is currently running. So I'm going to right click on it and then stop its service. Now once the service has been stopped, the next step is to actually manually add the user to the XML configuration file. Now to do this, we're going to minimize this services tab, open up the file explorer, click on this PC, head inside the C drive and then Tomcat and then the Apache Tomcat version 9 and in here you're going to head inside the configuration and you can see this tomcat hyphen users xml file so right click on it and then click on open with notepad now in here you're going to scroll down to this part and the very first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to remove these comments so this is going to uncomment all of this area and after that we're going to actually create some roles as manager gui manager script and manager jmx so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this line and paste it a few more times depending upon the role that you want to create now if you have confusions on the roles then you can simply click the link in the description box that would take you to the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up this apache tomcat server on windows server 2019 on azure anyways the very first role that i'm going to create is going to be the manager script so it's going to be manager hyphen script and then the second role is going to be the manager gui and then the third role is going to be manager jmx and then the same goes for the admin roles so the first one is going to be admin gui and then we're going to add an admin script 
and then we have forgot manager status so manager hyphen status after that we are going to provide the credentials for this account so i don't need three users so i'm just going to create one and i'm going to give it a username as admin and the password is going to be admin as well well you can give a different password if you like well the most important part is selecting the roles for this user so i'm going to go with the roles admin gui which would give it access for the admin portal and the manager GUI which would give it the access for manager portal. Now once that is done, what I need to do is that I need to simply exit from this file and save it. After that, we had minimized the services tab. So I'm going to open that up again and this time around I'm going to right click on the Apache service and start it all over. Now once the Apache server is running, I can again access my Tomcat using the desktop icon and this time around I can actually head inside the manager app, the server status or the host manager, whichever one I like. So I'm going to click on manager app and then I'm going to use the account that I have just created in the XML file which was admin and admin. Simply type that in and then hit OK. Just like that, I'm able to access the manager portal inside the Apache Tomcat. So that is how you can create users in Apache. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up Apache Server Tomcat on Azure and also for the Azure Marketplace listing for Apache Tomcat image. Now, finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.